2005? Yes. Here, here, like almost in this building, actually in another building, the administrating. I mean, I knew who you were because really? I was an intern in research and you were coming in all the time. But I didn't know you. But no, I never talked to you. I was yeah. Scared. <laughs> but she, Emily was the receptionist for ADF, and there was only one place on campus where you could get Wi Fi, which was right by her desk. So I would like stand, sit by her desk all the time and then we started talking. I was wearing my best summer outfit. He was wearing his Nike shirt, and our classes were both watching the show about New Jersey. And I turned, and so did he, and we both looked at each other a long time, and then I smiled, and he smiled back. Yeah. We were hanging out a lot, and... It was during The Shining, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. A piece by Yvonne Meyer called The Shining we were both in, and we were talking a lot about our failed love lives, and the fact that we were so unlucky in love, and... <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I mean we've been talking about that since we met. Yeah, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since 2005. Um, right. And we would hang out in bars nice. a lot and drink a lot. And we said, oh, we should just work together. And we made a manifesto about what the piece should be about. That is true. And um, yeah, we just started rehearsing. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. That's, I guess that's how it happened. But it was really, really completely casual. And, and very normal. Like it wasn't, I don't think we had like a show. Right. We didn't have a show. We, we had no show, <laughs> which is great because now we have a show. Um, but yeah, it was just sort of like talking about what if we did this, what if we did this, what if we did this. And also like our, the music we liked. And right. So we started developing a playlist, sort of, a playlist started developing. We didn't develop it. It sort of yeah. came around, oh, I like this song. Oh, what if yeah. we did, you know, oh, this song is fun, you know. Yeah. And there was no, we couldn't be like really severe and critical of ourselves in terms of like, is this song cool or not? Which is great. Because <laughs> came up with a lot of really dorky, not even guilty pleasures, like actual pleasures. Mm -hmm. Like I love this song. Yeah. So. When I dropped out, and I went to Israel, I became a pink walker, but that's a whole other story. Um, so, in researching this piece, we listened to a lot of love songs, a lot of love songs. There's like, there's the common theme of I push you away, this like in this song. I push you away, I get you back. I push you away, I get you back. I push you away, I want you back. Like Mariah, this song, Mariah, she wants you back. She pushed him away, now she wants him back. Okay. We're certainly using it like um, both as source material. So both as this like, you know, thing to not deconstruct in a certain way, but like um, irony is involved, mm. like um, a, the difference between kind of like the violence that we're enacting and the like, lovingness of the actual song but yeah then there's yeah. like particular songs that we chose that are com we completely give ourselves into and like the intention of the song and that yeah mm -hmm. i think that that ends up being maybe a little bit scarier yes for everyone <laughs> <laughs> but definitely for us yes yeah there's an honesty there that it's not yeah there's no joke